And Mr. Cipollone also specifically testified that he believed that Donald Trump should have conceded the election. Did you believe, and Mr. Cipollone, that the president should concede once you made a determination based on the investigations that you credited, DOJ did, the campaign did, did you in your mind form a belief that the president should concede the election loss uh, at a certain point after the election? Well, again, uh, I was the White House counsel. Some of those decisions are political. So to the extent that, but, but if your question is that I believe he should concede the election at a point in time, yes, I did. There was a real question in my mind and a real concern, you know, particularly after the attorney general had reached a conclusion that there wasn't sufficient election fraud to change the outcome of the election. When other people kept suggesting that there was, the answer is, what is it? And at some point, you have to put up or shut up. That was my view. Why was this, on a broader scale, a bad idea for the country? To have the federal government seize voting machines? That's a terrible idea for the country. That's not how we do things in the United States. Uh, there's no legal authority to do that. And there is a way to contest elections, you know, that, that happens all the time. But the idea that the federal government could come in and seize election machines, you know, that, that's, I don't, I don't understand why we even have to tell you why that's a bad idea. It's a terrible idea.